Eighth letter. Madame, we have a God who is infinitely gracious and knows all our wants. I always thought that he would reduce you to extremity. He will come in his own time and when you least expect it. Hope in him more than ever. Thank him with me for the favors he does you, particularly for the fortitude and patience which he gives you in your afflictions. It is a plain mark of the care he takes of you. Comfort yourself then with him and give thanks for all. I admire also the fortitude and bravery of Monsieur. God has given him a good disposition and a good will, but there is in him still a little of the world and a great deal of youth. I hope the affliction which God has sent him will prove a wholesome medicine to him and make him take stock of himself. It is an accident which should engage him to put all his trust in him who accompanies him everywhere. Let him think of him as often as he can, especially in the greatest dangers. A little lifting up of the heart suffices, a little remembrance of God, one act of inward worship, though upon a march and sword in hand, are prayers which, however short, are nevertheless very acceptable to God, and far from lessening a soldier's courage in occasions of danger, they best serve to fortify it. Let him think, then, of God the most he can. Let him accustom himself, by degrees, to this small but holy exercise. No one will notice it, and nothing is easier than to repeat often in the day these little acts of inward worship. Recommend to him, if you please, that he think of God the most he can in the manner here directed. It is very fit and most necessary for a soldier who is daily in danger of his life and often of his salvation. I hope that God will assist him and all the family to whom I present my service, being theirs and in particular yours. October 12, 1688